Yeah. Uh, a female comedian named Natasha Leggero recently opened a comedy show by taking her top off and showing her bare breasts to the entire audience while people were recording and posting it on social media. Comedian Natasha Leggero turns comedy act into naked strip show caught on video. Uh, <laughs> once again, proving that feminism benefits men more than it benefits women, especially the free the nipple movement. I thought that we moved past this as a culture the same way that we moved past the gender wage gap debate. That never went away. People but people lie about that. I, that that people still argue. I that still all the time. see a plethora of videos of feminist women in France who, at the drop of a hat, will take off their tops in order to protest different world atrocities. And we have no idea what they're protesting. It's just, you know, their boobs are out. It's that just, reminds it's me supposed of, to make um, a statement. You would be seeing, you know, obese women yes, and, be plenty of women and I old don't women. Want to, and, I don't want to look at without their shirts and on. And Natasha Leggero is 51 years old, so this is just very undignified for a woman of her age to be doing. It's undignified no matter what, but really no one wants to see that shit. So let's take a look at the censored video caught by T TMZ. She's doing this show with Burt Kreischer, and apparently Burt Kreischer is known for taking his shirt off during his sets, which I also don't want to see. Because he's fat. <laughs> All right. The one from Let's, the like, risk article. it. Yeah. I think we'll be fine. This next person coming to the stage is absolutely one of the funniest comedians I know uh, in the world. I am. I am like, I want him to put his shirt on. Because he gets to live with her and she is that <laughs> hilarious. Ladies and gentlemen, Natasha Lucero. Point. I'm assuming it was an 18 plus show. I certainly hope so. Yeah. Um, so her, uh, what? Well, why did she do this? Let's like psychoanalyze this for a second. What was the deep meaning behind this? Because you've been raised to believe off. that everything that's different between men and women is the result of some type of oppression. It's the result of like social engineering yeah. and men and women are actually not different at all. Um, I'm not surprised that women don't think their boobs are sexual because we all look at ourselves naked in the mirror every day and obviously you don't look at yourself and see yourself as this sexual being, but when you're out in public and you're around people of the opposite sex and, you know, even people of the same sex, we just, you know, it, it, we've decided as a, a human civilization that that is not appropriate for public places and there are laws against mm -hmm. that. So um, yeah, men and women are different and their bodies are different and it is not socially acceptable for you to be shirtless in public. It's not socially acceptable for Burt Kreischer to be shirtless in public either. That's the point that they don't make is that when a dude does it too, it's it's still- It's still it's weird still and gross. Makes people at least <laughs> It still take. makes people uncomfortable mm -hmm. equally. Um, so yeah, that went X-rated very quickly. So here was her Instagram caption. Burt Kreischer took his shirt off, so I did too. Improv said not to post, but TMZ already did, so F it. Should female comics be able to do the same things as male comics? Because I've also been thinking about trying to F my opener. <laughs> um, I, female comedians get a bad rap, and it's only getting worse, thanks to people like Natasha Leggero, because you are leaning into the negative stereotype around female comedians that they rely on vulgarity, crudeness, and graphic sexuality instead of actual jokes. I mean, we we talk about this a lot. Why aren't female stand-up comics as funny as men? It's probably because, you know, men are socialized to need to be funny as a way to you know, make friends and appear confident and have status and attract women. And women don't have the same social pressure to be funny. They can rely on their appearance. They can, 
you know, they have intrinsic value and they don't need to put on a performance to attract men. Men don't really care if women are funny. Also, back when the trend of women being vulgar was funny, there was still some type of social expectation that women were not like that. So therefore, you're playing against the stereotype. At the time, mm -hmm. the idea of a woman being uh, crude and sexually and making sexual jokes was unique because it was not something you saw all the time. Now, because that's the norm in society and not the exception, it doesn't hold the same you know hold that it might have for people back in the day yeah it's it's yeah. weird it's like now all women are expected to be vulgar yeah. and act like men so it's not really shocking when they do it anymore you're not really breaking any new ground yeah. and doing any of this and uh i saw other female comedians who were celebrating her in her comment section sarah silverman said queen Margaret Cho said that it was iconic, and Chelsea Handler also was complimenting her. I just think if I were doing anything and Chelsea Handler were complimenting me for it, whatever I was doing, I would immediately stop doing it. Like, if Chelsea Handler is celebrating you, that's a sign that you're doing something wrong. Mm. It's like definitely a red flag. Um, Rachel Brosnahan also commented, and said, should female comics be able to do the same thing as male comics? Funny way to propose, but yes. Um, and, you know, it's not really about comedians. It's just there should be different standards for men and women. There was um, a clip the other day of uh, Jason Kelsey. He was at Travis Kelsey's He game. was also shirtless. And he was shirtless and yeah. he was holding up a young fan so that she could meet Taylor Swift. And I was just imagining the parents being like, I hope they know who that is. Otherwise, there's just a random guy. Some ra a random shirt shirtless holding guy your holding your child. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just, uh, I would prefer if everyone kept their clothes on in public. That would be uh, a good start. And then page six followed Natasha Legero to her car the next night and asked her what she meant by this. Like, what was the statement she was trying to make? So let's take a look at that paparazzi video. Um, and her explanation i'm sure it's really deep and not just that she was trying to be a vulgar pervert i wanted to ask you some questions oh natasha talk to me uh everybody was shocked about the about oh. your comedy show yesterday oh that's funny <laughs> oh natasha it's good publicity shocked. people are shocked that you um Have show such huge yes <laughs> and they're amazed do you think more comedians will do that in the future Absolutely for the girls? Absolutely not, no. Nobody okay. wants to do that. I was trying to make a point. You're trying to make a point. Mm. What was your point? That she's not feeling her husband. And That's oh, her no. husband, yeah, by the way. Bigger, it's a bigger story, actually. <laughs> oh, well, I did not know that. Can I, <laughs> okay, All right, bye. Bye. Can you imagine being this chick's husband, by the way? I mean, how would you feel if your wife was out there showing everybody her goods on stage, on social media? Another comment pointed out, by the way, um, if it, wa if it wasn't an attention grab, you would have done this at Joe Rogan's comedy club where there are no phones allowed for it to leak. She wanted this to get attention on social media. That's the reason that she mm -hmm. did it. It's not really anything but clout chasing, but we're supposed to believe that it's this grandiose feminist statement about double standards and how female comics are oppressed because they can't be naked on stage it would have been cooler if she's like I just wanted to let my titties breathe like I don't know just don't try to act like it was some kind of deep statement you know like if you were just trying to get attention I would respect it more if you admitted it yeah right so twenty dollar one here from Disco Jensen says female stand-up my last date my ex-boyfriend my, my vagina yeah I mean there's literally a I wouldn't even call it a bit but Amy Schumer did a bit in one of her specials where she said that uh, her genitalia smells like a barnyard animal. Like that, and she repeated it, like we're supposed to laugh the second time that she says it. Like, it's just so played out. And if you wanted to combat negative stereotypes about female comics, you would actually rely on telling jokes that make people laugh. Because currently the stereotype around female comedians is, is exactly this, is that, you rely on being crass instead of being funny. 
It's not shocking anymore. It's 2024. Women have been acting like men for a solid like four decades now. Um, you're not doing anything revolutionary by taking your clothes off. Mm. Simple as. Um, if people were also comparing to this to the trans influencer who went topless on the White House lawn yeah. and had to apologize for it. And that was also called misogynistic. The language in that is hilarious. Did you, did you read the, the language around how they describe it? How the person... The influencer's it? apology said, um, <laughs> my trans masculine friends were showing off their top surgery scars and living in trans joy. And because it's perfectly within the law in Washington, D.C., I decided to join them and cover my nipples just to play it safe because I wanted to be fully free in myself. I had zero intention of trying to be vulgar or profane in any way. I was simply living in joy, living my truth, and existing in my body. You weren't existing in your body. You were getting naked on the White House lawn, bitch. It's so intellectually dishonest. Holy shit. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.